I really hope you guys enjoyed the last Late Show video because we just did it again. Another two masters on camera jigging in the hut this time. The footage is unreal. Stay tuned for an awesome episode. <laughs>
So when I'm fishing lake trout through the ice, the first bait I always start with always is the size seven rip and wrap. Color honestly doesn't really matter too much. And uh, I'm working that bait right under the ice to the bottom, reeling up, reeling down, no kind of jigging in the same spot and like i said i'm really working that bait up and down quite a bit this fish came in right under the ice like i'm talking right under the ice look at what barbless just comes right off another beautiful sassy lake trout <laughs> anyway oh okay all right we're gonna let her go she's burping on camera that's kind of embarrassing and uh Nice fish. Nice fish. She's ready to go. She's gonna splash me. Well, I lied. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. Nice fish. Nice fish. Switch the two. Nice fish. on the bottom. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> Looked like a big fish on the last Yeah, it did. Okay, so I was messing around with those little ones on the bottom here. And uh, messing around with these little ones on the bottom. And uh, as so, is this a big fish? As so was happening, I saw a big mark up high. And as I was ranting on before those fish up higher are a lot more motivated to bite i'm sure as anything everyone like dear likes me to kneel for like the shot but i'm so short that these 42 inch rods i can't kneel it's a heavy fish yeah yeah it's just on bottom so what they do is try to get daryl to film it for me while i'm fighting this fish you see i'm just hugging on the bottom here it's a heavy fish oh my gosh this is awesome. He came up high, so everyone says all oh, those big fish are on the bottom, big fish on the bottom. The 45 incher, a few other big ones, and this one, which I don't know what it is, all came in around 30, 40 feet, just cruising. Whether they're cruising off the structure behind us. Holy shit. I'm not getting anywhere with this thing. <laughs> it's a 40. Yeah. It's a big fish, folks. Yeah. I just switched the tube. I had the start with cicada. Ugh. Started with the cicada, went over to the uh, rip and wrap. Then I went back to, or no, I went onto a tube, so I can't even think right now. It's just a big fish. Um, yeah, so I uh, started cicada, switched to the rip and wrap, caught a bunch with that. Then I switched to the tube and I was getting rejected on that. And, uh, oh my gosh, this is a heavy fish. Oh my gosh. I can't even hardly move it. It's still right at bottom. It's still right at bottom. You can see I'm trying to... That's a big mark. Yeah. So, as you can see, normally I'm the one watching someone fight the fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> watching someone fight the fish. And I'm normally Daryl, just kind of standing and watching helplessly. Have the bump board ready here. <laughs> he just cursed me. No. No, it's fine. We have a no jinx rule, Daryl and I. Everywhere we go, there is a no jinx rule in effect. So, so we can say all kinds of things. We can say what we matter. want without... Yeah. There's actually two big fish down there. There's another really big mark down there. I can't put a rod down either because I have two deadlines out. So. Daryl can't. So yeah, so if you're wondering... <laughs> That's why I'm just hanging out but here. But there's right two now. big ones down there right now. Two big ones down there right now. Well, that's so we, we like to fish the spot with uh, with three deadlines. So I've got my two deadlines out. Emily's got her deadline out, her active rod in the hut. And the other thing is we don't like to compete against each other when we're jigging together in the hut. You just we'll just take turns. Yeah, like we just confuse the fish. So one of us jigging in the hut. That way you're not fighting over the same fish. And then you know we've got ample opportunity with the three deadlines out there. So it's just more fun that way. I think. Like I agree. I totally agree. You know, one person's not catching all the fish or 
just <laughs> getting upset, you know what I mean? Comes in, chases you, and then sees the other bait, goes over there, chases that one. Yeah. So it's just... It's just a, a cleaner way of fishing if you... And like then when, you, when this happens, it's not full panic mode. There's no other lines in the water. There's nothing other than the live scope, which is fine, so... Yeah, and then, like, the dead, if a deadline gets hit now, I, I'm able to go out there and... Take and care of what needs to be taken care of. This yeah. is a heavy fish, guys. This feels way heavier than that. And you know what the best luxury is right now, no matter what happens in these next couple minutes? I was jigging in the hut, and I've hooked on a big one on my jigging line in the hut and it's warm we're comfortable it's not like before fighting those other two on the last video when it's just freezing cold the weather's not that bad today actually. yeah it's only minus 22 or something okay i'm getting up here a bit more the other day the wind was so bad you had to bring the fish inside today's not not that bad so when it's yeah when it's like around the minus mid 30s and colder what we'll do is we'll set our deadlines set our deadlines close to uh, the tent so that we literally can just run the fish into the tent to deal with it. And that is the best way because if you were to try to take any photos or even like you unhook it in the hole obviously, but any photos or measurements in minus 40 and those eyes are just frozen. It's a matter of seconds. In a matter of seconds, like. And then, so the eyes freeze and then the fins also freeze. You the get gills frostbite. freeze. Yeah, it's a mess. You gotta get them inside a hut. Yeah. This fish is fighting really, really, really strong. Like, fighting really strong. I already tightened my drag up twice. Tighten up a tiny bit more. You don't want to straighten any hooks out or pop it out. Look at this. I'm fishing right now with the uh, Omen. 13 fishing Omen, 42. This one's a medium heavy. I have a heavy, uh, a heavy setup for my dead bait. Just working. I'm trying to get that fish up. See, I, I, I'll gain on him. A little bit and then he'll okay. okay my wrist is getting so sore gaining on he's starting to get tired now Here we go, here comes the leader. Means we're getting there. Oh, nice fish. Not short and fat. Short and fat, but a nice fish. Oh, I hate that when it's rubbing on ice like that. do is I'm just gonna keep an eye try to get this head up oh no try to get this head up nice 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 get the head up that's a bit she saw me and got a little nervous look at that beautiful beautiful fish look at barely barbless take it right out look at this fish oh my goodness an absolute hog Jigging in the tent, on the sp or on the tube. Look at that. I'll put her on the board and see how heavy she is. Look at that. Oh my goodness, she is beautiful. What a fight. Oh. Oh no. Almost th another 38. 38 on the nose. All right, so another day off. So we went fishing. This is my third master of the season. Another beautiful 38. We're gonna release her right now. Gorgeous fish. Caught it jigging on the tube. Lots of support for that body. Oh, look at, look how fat. I love big fish. Look at the tail. Nice. Came in at like 35, 40 feet, just hauling. There she goes, I feel her already kicking. What a beautiful fish. There she goes. You can see her on the live scope. See, she's just under the ice right there, swimming away. Nice, beautiful fish. <laughs> Try to catch up to her. <laughs> she 
going fast. Awesome. Awesome. And I'm not nearly as soaked and uh, frozen as the last time. So another master on camera, Lake Athapasco, uh, Baker's Narrows Lodge, Unreal Lake Trout Fishing. So that's about it. Ooh, he's shooting up. He's going for it. He's not going to hit it. He's coming back. Oh, oh we're right at the ice. Nice. That was championship behavior right there on my part. <laughs> you done? You done? This is another big one. I don't think I can handle it. I'm going to have to go to physio. For my wrist. I'm going to have to go to physio. Physiotherapy. I swear. I need one of them wrist guards that the ladies at Walmart have at the checkout. You know, one of them wrist braces? Yeah, it's going right to Bond's Big Fish. Anyway. <laughs> so I switched from the tube. So I switched from the tube to the rattle bait because I got rejected. As you can see in the very poorly done demo that might be in bloopers, might make it to the actual video, who knows. But anyway, so I switched. That's a heavy fish, boys and girls. Doesn't feel as heavy as that 38, but it does still feel heavy. Maybe it's a 35. Oh, it's going, look on the live scope, it's going right to the bottom. That's a big fish. There's two of them down there. Oh gosh, that didn't sound good. Keep in mind, my drag's a lot tighter too than the first, like the first half of the fight of the first fish because I did adjustments. Oh, we had shake there. I'm trying to get down to the bottom. Love it. But she's just pulling the bomb, pulling the bomb, pull the bomb. So basically just waiting for her to give me a chance to try to gain on her a little bit. So basically with these big lake trout, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna lift up. Oh, this is a heavy fish. This is a heavy fish. This is good. This is great. So, I don't... Oh, yeah, no James roll. So, this is going to be the second master today. The second master on film. Wait, this is the sixth master on film then since we've been here? Yeah, it would be at least. Daryl's a champion with the filming. I just take pictures, but... He asked me this morning, do we want to fish for fun or do we want to film? And I said, for the first time ever... Let's film. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. You feel her head wag like a shark down there. Here we go. There's another, there's a gi another giant down there. Every time I gain on this fish, she just keeps pulling more. <laughs> It's a big fish. It's a heavy fish. We're kind of making way on this now. A little bit of weed. Need, need a breeze. I'm dying. I'm sweating here. All right, we're getting somewhere. This fish is about 30 feet. Starting to get somewhere. Starting to get tired. I can feel it now. Thanks. There she goes. I can see her now at uh, 20 feet on the live scope. All right, this is just coming now. Okay. And she's heavy. She is heavy. Here we go. Here's some leader. This is a nice fish, guys. Nice fish. She's nice. She's really nice. You can see her under the ice there. The 
can see my my line aligned right here. Did I leave my left? Here. She's head shaking here, that rattle bait's still going. Okay. These are like the tensest moments, I think. <laughs> this is when things can go wrong. This is when they will. Okay. Look at this fish, beautiful. Look at her, she is beautiful. Look at, barely, barely hooked. That's what I was saying, if things are gonna go wrong, that's when they go wrong. Barely hooked, check out another gorgeous fish. Oh, you're like at the path. Oh my goodness, look at, another giant. She's a lot longer too, she might be 40. All right, let's measure and see what we got gonna give this baby a little bit of a dip. It's warm in here though. Okay. All right, oh, she's big. She is big, 41, 41 inch lake trout. Just a beautiful fish. Check out this fish, guys. Lake at the pot, 41 incher. Second one jigging in the hut today. This one was on the size seven rip and wrap. Absolutely unreal day. Man, I love lake trout fishing. Unreal. We're gonna put her back. All right, we're gonna let her go. She's ready to go. Oh gosh, beautiful. Oh, look at her kicking already. Kicking off strong. Here we go. Watch on the live scope as she just takes off. Look at her, chucking off strong, off she goes. Go make another angler's dreams come true. 41 to 38 and it's not even 130. So we're gonna go for three, give it a try. Got him. That fish just shot up off bottom. He's not, uh, not huge, I can feel a little tiny head shakes. Come on. Man, this has been, Pretty wild day though, like. Extremely. It's not tiny, I can see it. Fighting like a goon trying to get that on camera <laughs> running there. Anyways. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> but we're gonna get him anyway. <laughs> Good reflexes. That hook is in the roof of the shack. Hey, that's a nice one. It's like that's really nice. <laughs> Shut up, Miss Thirty Eight Forty One. <laughs> Here's my Twenty Eight Incher. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll let me hold it out. <laughs> oh, that camera just died. Maybe, maybe I can make it look forty. No, I don't think so. Okay, we'll have to get a real forty. I'm drying off. I've lost my jigging privileges since I've already got two big ones today. <laughs> I've lost. So she, she's on the deadline. <laughs> I'm on deadline now. duty for the rest of the day. All right, guys. So when it comes to tackle, I just want to show you what I caught these big fish on. So the first fish, the 38, was caught on this drop tine uh, tube. It has the VMC hybrid bladed treble on the bottom there. I didn't put any bait on, no skin, no meat, just as is. And then the second bait that I used today, I switched this tube off and put on this bad lipstick, size seven rip and wrap and caught the 41 on this. So those are two baits you must have when you go lake trout fishing in the winter time.